Hello, I'm Amara Jones, and today is Thursday, May 14th. This is Caffeine TV, your daily news brief, here to take you through three headline numbers in just three minutes, giving you a different take on everything from housing policy to the real housewives. The first number up today is 338. That's the number of votes that a measure, which would effectively end the government's ability to collect information on the phone calls of over 300 million Americans received in the House of Representatives yesterday. That bill would replace the current USA Patriot Act and that Act Section 215 that we spoke about last week with the USA Freedom Act. Now, what happened is a big deal for two reasons. The first is that, surprise, surprise, it genuinely is a bipartisan measure receiving the votes of hundreds of Democrats and Republicans in the House of Representatives. And it's the first time that a piece of legislation has moved based upon the revelations of Edward Snowden. But now the measure moves to the Senate, where the Senate Majority Leader, Republican Mitch McConnell, has vowed to fight it. I guess the Republican Party's pledge to keep government out of our lives has a giant asterisk next to it, but his efforts to defeat it are uncertain because many people in his party oppose him on it, so we'll just have to see what happens. But honestly, if you are a champion of civil liberties, yesterday was a good day. The next number today is 118,000. That's the number of votes that Harriet Tubman received as part of a grassroots campaign to put a woman on the $20 bill, making her the top vote getter in that unofficial ballot. That effort was organized by W20, an organization committed to putting a woman on U.S. currency. Now, of course, Harriet Tubman is the escaped slave who returned to the South dozens of times, freeing thousands of other slaves, and who also, during the Civil War, served as a spy, making such an impact that she was buried with full military honors, making her the first African-American woman to do so. Of course, the irony is that she would replace President Andrew Jackson, the avowed racist and slave owner, and it could all be done with a stroke of a pen from Obama's Secretary of the Treasury, but not everyone is for it. Kirsten West Savali of The Root argues that putting Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill would just make us all feel better and would paper over the real needs of African American women, which of course is a risk, but honestly, if it makes millions of people around the world look at her picture and determine her legacy, it might be worth it. The last number of today is 18, as in 18 years. That's how long two-time Oscar-winning actress Kate Blanchett has been married to her husband, playwright Andrew Upton, but yesterday in Variety, Blanchett dropped a bombshell saying that she had had lesbian relationships, quote, many times, close quote, but she wouldn't give any details. Now, Blanchett was in Variety to talk about her upcoming movie, Carol, based upon a 1952 novel called The Price of Salt, about two women falling in love, but if Blanchett is to be taken at face value, her words can imply that she is bisexual, and bisexuals are often referred to as the invisible sexual minority in the United States, but the irony is that after gay men, bisexuals are the largest group of non-heterosexuals in the United States, with women making up the majority of those who identify as bisexual, and so Blanchett's words would be consistent with that, and hopefully if she is a bisexual, her words will help people end the invisibility around their sexual orientation. But honestly, in the end, I would be much happier if she also named names.